All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this side of this uh, program. This is the podcast by Few Point Ministries. And usually, we do have podcasts when we end the live program. So today, we have had conversation with Reverend Peter Fashola on understanding the doctrine of salvation, a guide to human struggles. So I want you to go on our YouTube platform, Go to youtube.com forward slash viewpoint ministries, youtube.com forward slash at viewpoint ministries, and you will get to enjoy this. Uh, I mean, it, it's, I don't know how else it can be more simple than that when it comes to the doctrine of salvation, but go over there, listen to it, and enjoy it. Well, if you have not done so, we want you to like and uh, follow and subscribe and share our podcast, uh, share our YouTube platform as well. Wherever the platform you are listening to us from right now, share with your neighbor, your friend, your family member as well. Well, on this side, we are going to briefly look at the role of faith in achieving salvation. So I bring to you Reverend Fashola, who will help us do justice to these uh, in a brief moment, sir. Thank you so much for being on these uh, podcast sites, sir. Thank you for having me, sir. All right, sir. So today we are looking at the role of faith in achieving salvation. Now, you've given us, a, uh, I know the time over there, I think to me, I would say it's still a short time, even though we are over an hour talking about salvation, doctrine of salvation. Uh, but on this side, talking about the role of faith in achieving salvation. So, Christ has died for our sin. He has come to offer us that salvation. And because it is difficult for some people to comprehend, it is then in between of this mode of I'm not sure whether it is true or not true. And then, uh, in Christ, I'm we talk about faith by faith and we believe. So, how what do you see into these, and how can you make this you know a little bit more clearer for us on this platform? What is that faith of faith in achieving salvation over the years? Yeah, uh, the role of faith in achieving salvation is a central theme in the Bible. It is true faith that individuals are justified and it is true faith that we are that we receive the gift of salvation when you see Ephesians 2 8 to 9 it says for by grace you look at it again for by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not your own doing it is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. This verse emphasizes that salvation is received through faith as a gift from God's grace, not by our own works or efforts. One of my friends said faith is the currency with which we transact with God or we buy from God's market. Faith as a currency. Another author will say faith is a seed. A seed is useless if it is on your shelf. But it is useful if you can endeavor. Endeavor, which is a very strong word in Pauline theology. But if you can endeavor to plant it, taking the step, taking the step, endeavor. When you, if you can take the step, so uh, when you see Romans three twenty two, it says this righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. Here it states that righteousness is attained through faith in Jesus Christ. For all who believe, faith is the means by which we receive the salvation. Uh, that by faith is is the means by which we receive the righteousness that leads to salvation. John three sixteen, the popular verse that of everybody knows, even unbelievers know it. It says, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whosoever believes in Him." should not perish but have eternal life 
this well-known verse highlights the connection between belief that is faith in jesus and receiving eternal life salvation is granted to those who have faith in jesus as the son of god galatians 2 16 he says yet we know that a person is not justified by works of the law but through faith in jesus christ so we also have believed in christ jesus in order to be justified by faith in christ and not by works of the law because by works of the law no one will be justified this verse emphasizes that justification the act of being declared righteous before god does not come through works but through faith in christ jesus hebrews 11 6 says and without faith it is impossible to please him for where for so for whoever will draw there to god must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him this verse underscores the significance of faith in having a relationship with god it states that without faith it is impossible to please god faith is our drawing nearer faith it was what was what we call the step of faith is the picture of what happened to moses at the burning bush what if moses noticed the burning bush but just with a wave of hand continued on his journey but faith to, exp to explain faith with these circumstances, faith is him turning and saying, let me check out what is happening there. Let me check out what is happening there. And as he checked out what is happening there, his life never remained the same. So it is the step that we take towards the, towards the grace of God. And that's all that is required of us. Look at Jesus who say, if you have faith that is as little as, as a seed of mustard, it doesn't even require much. It's just, just, a, just a slight turn. He said, just taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste. He didn't say eat the whole plate. What is a taste? It's, you see, a taste is just a little drop to the tongue, right? If we want to use, if we want to use our African context, when you taste a food, it's just a little bit, right? Not that you hit the entire shop or you finish the entire pot. It's just a little bit. So that's like a good picture of what faith is here. And the role of faith in achieving salvation is god does not require much from us to ask the question didn't god know that paul is capable of committing murder did god not know that paul as as with men in his status and in his generation that paul was proud and arrogant and boastful paul was like I could boast like everybody is boasting. I'm I'm Jewish like you. I'm from the seed of Abraham like you. What do you want to talk about? I'm there. I'm learned. I'm a professor. My head is bigger than my neck. But at the end of the day, it's like he came back to he came back to says like. All this I could have counted as gain, says, but I count it as loss. Didn't God know that Jacob was a terrible man? Did God not know that David is terrible? But you see, all that God requires of us is just one little step forward. And then heaven takes over. And does the rest look at what we invest look at the yield on look at the returns that we get more than we put in romans 4 5 says and to the one 
who does who does not walk but believes in him who justifies the ungodly his faith is counted as righteousness oh what a glorious god look at that again and to the one who does not walk but believes in him who justifies the ungodly his faith is counted as righteousness in what faith in what religion on earth can you find the kind of benefit we find in god the kind of benefit that we find in god this verse underscores that righteousness is credited to those who have faith in god rather than through their own works mark 16 16 whoever believes and is baptized will be saved but whoever does not believe will be condemned in this verse jesus himself states that belief is necessary for salvation those who believe and are baptized will be saved what about Acts 16 31 believe in the lord jesus and you'll be saved you and your household you and your household this verse highlights the simplicity of salvation through faith just by believing in the lord jesus individuals can be saved first mr 1 9 as you obtain the outcome of your faith the salvation of your souls the outcome of your faith just a peep just a slight glance is enough all taste and see that the lord is good just a taste though don't finish the entire pot the entire, the entire meal the full package is coming but just this just the taste just the step forward 